And welcome back. Well, our next guest is a fine artist, author, designer, and mom of three. And one day, she got a shocking call from one of the largest publishing companies in the world asking her to write and illustrate a book. How about that? Mm -hmm. So she decided on a whimsical, calming book to help kids fall asleep. While pregnant with her third baby, Amy Cavallaris wrote, Good Night, My Darling Dear. The book is super popular. In fact, it was the number one new release on Amazon and sold out at Target in just a few days. Amy joins us now with more on her story. Story and the story that she wrote about. Great to see Hello. you. Yeah, so good, good to, to be back again. again. Yes. It's been a little while. It has been a couple years since I've been on this couch with you, Lee. Yeah, so fantastic thank you to for have you back. Me. We appreciate it. Um, your story is that at one time you were in LA working on films, thinking, hey, this is how I'm yeah. using my artistic abilities and, and going to be there. But you, it seems like you've kind of discovered that Wisconsin is sort of where your home is. You know, I grew up here. I grew up like writing poetry and writing, you know, sketching little critters um, in a big tree overlooking the water. And I mean, how do you beat that, right? Yeah. When you raise your kids, you want to be in Wisconsin. It's the it's the great place to be. So I'm really happy to be back here. We Good for it. you. So. Do you feel like you're you're kind of an artist first or an author first, or where does it fall for you? Oh gosh, well, I mean, I started, um, we opened a little art school a couple years ago mm -hmm. in Oconomowoc, it was about six years ago now. And then when we moved, we closed it down and I thought, how am I going to still, you know, create? And we started getting emails from different companies that wanted to work together on design work. And so now, um, within the last couple years, we've had our work in anthropology and Target and Walmart. So it's been, it's been really cool to see it kind of grow and blossom and I'm able to stay home with my babies and so I know it sounds really nuts that I can it's you know, amazing. create with them on my lap. Well, it's a dream, I think, for, for a lot of artists, you know, but a lot of moms. <laughs> um, your little baby. That's absolutely adorable. Your artwork is, is precious, obviously. Girls. Very popular, um, too. Oh. So you get this call from HarperCollins Publishing, and you're like, no way. Right? <laughs> yeah, it was unbelievable we you know we started getting these emails coming in from different companies so um yeah so we started um i mean i just didn't even know what to what to think of that yeah. so we were so excited and then when they asked me what do you want to do like what do you want to write this book on i mean doesn't everybody have a million ideas of what they'd want to write a they always say on? yeah everybody's got a book in them but yeah yeah um i mean it's such a formative time in your life and you, you you're out in you know exploring in nature as a as a child and so anyway, I just kept feeling this tugging on my heart to write something just really sweet and calming and encouraging for kids because we keep hearing that there's so much anxiety on the rise mm -hmm. in children. Mm -hmm. And it just broke my heart, especially for our children and the kids in our communities. Um, so we wanted to make it just really calming and sweet to, to send them off to dreamland. And um, it's been very well received so far. So we're pretty, we're really, really happy and thankful. Yeah. yeah. Well, I love that you say, you know, this is kind of written from the perspective that the, the narrative is going to be the caregiver mm -hmm. or a parent or a grandparent. And it's about all the dreams that we have for the little one we're taking care of. Mm -hmm. So is that what the whole story is kind of about? How does it evolve? Mm -hmm. So it's actually this little deer. It could be a heroine or a hero. It could be mm -hmm. a little boy deer or a girl. Um, and you see them in every page and they're kind of experiencing the love that um, like a parent or a caregiver has with their child. Cute. And it's just sweet. And then there's also little hidden, I always tell our readers, there's little hidden deer and um, butterfly on each page. Aww. So you can kind of, it, it sort of symbolizes being brave and spreading your wings. And so you can kind of look for those. Um, but yeah, that's, it's sort of this narrative of this little deer following along. Yeah. Um, and we have deer so much in Wisconsin. It was kind of a fun, yeah. a fun little critter to use. Yeah. yeah, just look out the window, even here at work. We see them <laughs> yeah. like walking around outside in the, in the yard. Um, I, this part I think is hilarious. And this is about the writing process for you. You were pregnant with your, your third, mm -hmm. um, sicker than a dog, super emotional. You say you'd sit in coffee houses and just sob over how special <laughs> these words were. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I mean, I guess when you get older, you just don't really have like any inhibitions anymore. You just, I just would yeah. cry over this, the words. And <laughs> I mean, it's so silly. You think it doesn't take that much work to put into just these couple sentences on a page, Yeah. but it took us a full, like almost a full year to write it and just wow. to figure out how we wanted this to transcend to every generation. And so, you know, parents could relate. Um, there's even a page that talks about um, being that I don't know if you know the term rainbow baby, that yeah. sometimes a baby mm -hmm. after loss yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of refers to that as we lost a baby in between two. 
um, I'll try not to cry, but, yeah. but just sweet th like little things like that that hopefully the parents and the child will be able to relate to. But yeah, I was sicker than I've ever been, so now we get to take Molly, Anna is her name, oh. um, yeah. <laughs> along with us on our travels. So it's kind of fun full circle. Yeah. She, she made me really sick, but now she gets to celebrate this really fun book. So um, she's what, eight months now? She's eight months, yeah. Eight months, along with the other two girls. Yeah, so yeah. this is incredible. People can come out to Oconomowoc and meet you. I love that painting of your girls in the tutus. Um, the launch party, uh, we'll, you're gonna have a reading, a signing, there's treats. It's at the Carriage House mm -hmm. in Oconomowoc. It's Sunday the 8th and it's at three o'clock and that's where you can get a copy you are back in stock now, I believe, right? At all we your are. other locations? Are, everything's stocked. We're going to actually have books half off at the signing if you want to come out to Oconomowoc. Um, it's going to be really fun, and we'll have the original artwork up, so if any kids have questions about the process. Beautiful. Um, we're going to be traveling all around to, um, we're actually going to go to Waco, we'll go to Phoenix, we're going to go to, we've been in Philadelphia, Nashville, we just got a call for California, North Carolina, so we're just Congrats. hitting the road with our babies, and it's just going to be really, it's going to be really fun. It's so amazing. Good yeah, for you. Congratulations. That's a lot. Yeah, very, very awesome success that you've had. We appreciate you joining well, thank us. Thank you for thank having you. me. Yeah.